Thanks for checking out the AMG Power Equipment Pro channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to check the fuel ejection system on a steel MS500i chainsaw. You guys are going to need a pressure vacuum tester in order to perform these tests. I'll walk you guys step by step through how I check the fuel injectors, the fuel lines, and the tank. So with that, let's jump right into the video. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the air filter housing and then also this bracket that holds in the fuel injector. Next, I'm gonna empty the fuel out of the tank. In order to perform the test, I'm gonna to need to remove the fuel filter. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hook onto that and pop that right off the fuel line. Now I'm gonna install my pressure vac line to the fuel line. Once I've made the connection, I'm gonna pump the line up to 10 PSI. If the pressure holds at 10 PSI, then move on to the next step. If the pressure leaks back to 0.1 or 0.2 and holds, you're going to have to replace the injection pump. If the leak goes to zero, it could be the injection valve or one of the hoses. Next, I'm checking the injection hose. To do this, you're going to remove the injection hose from the fuel injector, and you're going to repeat the same process with the pressure vacuum test. You need to plug or seal the return hoses inside the fuel tank when you're doing this test. If you look inside the tank, it's going to be the black nipple that's on the top side of the tank right below the AV spring. Hold pressure to this area while you're doing the test to make a tight seal. Pump your pressure tester up to 10 PSI and it should hold. If the pressure does not hold, the injection valve or the O-rings are damaged. If the pressure does hold, release the return hose in the tank and the pressure should fall to 0.1 to 0.2 bars. If this does hold, the injection body is good. If the pressure falls to zero, the return valve is damaged and the injector body needs to be replaced. The next thing we're going to check is the pressure bulb. Make sure that you're keeping everything connected and slightly start pushing the pressure bulb while you have the pressure build up. You should notice the meter start dropping slightly every time you push the primer bulb. After the pressure test is done, we're going to do a vacuum test on the bulb as well. So I'll start at zero, I will switch the pressure tester over to the vacuum mode, and then I'll start pumping again. You're going to notice the meter drop. If the vacuum does not hold, you're going to need to replace the injection pump. For the next test, I'm going to hook a hose to the vent fitting on the injection pump, the fuel tank, and my pressure tester. This is what it looks like. With your finger plugged, the return inside the tank again. Pump everything up to 10 PSI. It should hold. If it does not hold, the injection valve or the O-rings are leaking. Remove your finger from the return hose and the pressure should drop from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2. If the pressure does not drop and you remove your finger, make sure you replace the injection body. Next, I'm going to pressure test the fuel tank. You're going to remove the fuel hoses from the injection pump. Use a plug to seal off the hose that supplies the injection pump. Put the pressure vacuum tester on the return hose and then go ahead and pump up to 10 PSI. If the pressure does not hold, you'll have a leak in your tank. You're going to need to use some soapy water to go around and spray to find the leak. Once the pressure tester is done, go ahead and move the pressure vacuum tester over to vacuum mode. Pump up the tank and you should start seeing pressure build in the tank. And then it should start to return to zero after a little bit. If it does not return to zero, you're going to have to replace the tank vent. I hope that video was helpful to you guys. Pressure testing the fuel injection system on the saw is going to help narrow down what's actually wrong with the saw. It could be something as simple as a loose impulse line, or it could be something as simple as a fuel tank vent. You're not going to know unless you run the pressure vacuum test through the fuel system. So if you guys liked this video and it was helpful to you, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate any feedback you guys have. Make sure you guys check out our other content for some great videos on other two-cycle repairs that we do at the shop.